Robbie, first of all, a winning start to the season against a very strong team. How would you sum up that 90 minutes? Like, it's almost a game of two halves, wasn't it? You know, I thought we dominated um, the first half, um, got the goal I thought we deserved. And then, as always, good teams, you know, they come into the game and they started to bombard us a little bit. And, you know, with their physicality and, you know, their, you know, direct play. And, you know, it was a problem, but what I said to the players is you can't play nitty pretty football all the way and win three or four nil. You know, you got to dig in sometimes. And we dig, we, you know, we dug in, we dug in and we got three points, which is massive because they're a good side. They'll be in the top five or six, in my opinion, comfortably. And, um, you know, it's good, it's good to, to get that test against a really good team. I thought first half we were excellent. I thought we, you know, with a bit more calmer finishing, we might have been a little bit more up, but you know, we take the three points and we move on, but it's just in the second half, I thought we were, you know, we, they dictated to us instead of us dictating to them, to them like we did in the first half. And I think we didn't pass it nowhere near enough um, in the second half, which was resulting in, you know, them bombarding us and, and us not half the time trying to get out of our half. We had, we had little bits of pieces in the second half, like when Alfie tries to square it for Nick, um, which would have been, a, you know, Tuna would have been a bit more of a comfort but yeah listen we're really happy uh, and it's three points and there's loads to work on. Well I said between myself and Peter Hood we thought that the leadership skills of Craig Revson at the back and Harvey White in the midfield didn't win the game for us because all, all the players that came all the players that played a part today played a part in the win but their leadership Craig at the back cheap like just so composed and he just calms everything down and Harvey in the midfield Fantastic displays again. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's why we've got Robbo, who's a fantastic footballer. Not only a fantastic footballer, great lad. And, um, you know, he's buying into what me and Joe want to do. And Harvey's Harvey, that's why he's my captain. You can always rely on Harvey, you know, whether it's a good game or a bad game, he works tirelessly for this football club and for me. And, and that's all you can ask for. And, you know, the, the, the great people and players to have at the football club, and we're very lucky to have them. And um, we've just got to make sure that we try and get a team that's competitive enough, enough enough to to justify that well i know you asked for the lads to be more clinical today i know it was only one nil but what a clinical finish by alfie great finish. i said to him at half time if anybody in our squad no disrespect to any of our players falls to him on the left hand side you'd want alfie on it so it was perfect great strike great finish and like i said i thought we deserved it first half but second half you know they were pushing to get the equalizer but as good teams always do we dug in and we were resilient and um, you know we managed to get over the line which is it's an important three points because it's always nice to get off to a winning start in the first game because I, I, I feel with this group of players we will improve and hopefully we will get stronger how hard is it for you i've, I've seen before the match it's so hard leaving out players from the squad yeah. today it was danny howick and bradley leverage N not left out due to anything more than possibly players form or fitness no 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 it's just listen we've got a, we've got a squad of players that's a good squad of players and um you know, how, do, how does not sta Sam start? You know, that, that, you know, I had to tell him, I, Josh McCormack has had a great yeah. pre-season and that's what we need. And I've said to the players who are missing, who have not played, just give me that when you come on. You, you show the qualities and if they're playing well, they'll stay in. Oh. And listen, we, we, we've got a long season, we've got a lot of games and we've got to mix the team up. We've got to make sure we do that because we need it as fresh as we possibly can. Well, we're going on to Cray Ronderers on Wednesday, of course. It's going to be a tough go. Cray actually, well, uh, on the last time I saw, it was actually one nil. They were winning away to Billy Ricky, and Billy Ricky, well, down as the, fa the second favourites in the league. Cray Runder is always a tough test, and, and you've seen under the new management, every game in this league is going to be tough, isn't it, Robbie? Absolutely. There's no. That's what we're saying, and that's why we say to the supporters, we just got to keep, you know, our feet level-headed and you know lower the expectations because everyone's doing what we're doing. Mm. You know, bringing other players in, bringing good players in, and trying. And, um, you know, it's nice to have that feel-good factor around the place and, and like, it's nice to have that confidence. But we've got to understand that there's a lot of good teams in this league. And, um, you know, Cray will be no different. We've got to go play ourselves and and look to, you know, get get play on the front foot and, uh, and cause them a few problems. Well, lastly, I thought the fans again were fantastic today. Yeah. Good attendance again in this heat. Fair play to them for coming out and supporting the lads. Brilliant. Can't, you know, can't thank them enough. Fantastic supporters. Always there through thick and thin. And we're so pleased, but what mostly are pleased is because people will go away knowing if they'd probably be the same, same to me, is that they, you know, Hornchurch will be there, thereabouts. And for us to be, you know, we, 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 we had the game first half, they had the game second half, and we matched them. 
and um, and that's what we asked of the players and they, and they produced. Lastly, was there any injuries or was it a fully fresh no, five look, minutes? Listen, luckily for us, I don't know whether the dust settles and, and someone's injured, but I, 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 as we speak now, I'm pretty sure that no one uh, has been injured, which is obviously a massive plus going in there with the games we've got. Cheers, Robbie. Thank you. See you on Wednesday, mate. Pete. Cheers, well done. Top man. So now I'm joined by Alfie Bridgman and Toby Stewart. Alfie, fantastic goal. It's, a, it's not the first time we've seen it, to be honest with you, but how good, how pleasing is it to score the goal? Yeah, obviously it was uh, obviously a nice to get a goal in the start of the season, but obviously we knew it was going to be a tough game coming here, obviously at home against a really good start of Hornchurch, but yeah, we dug deep and we got the goal and yeah, we got the three points in the end. Well, I think it's a key, isn't it, how well we dug deep. I think last season we probably would have struggled in this heat against a very physical team but we've shown now how far we've come forward and from last season when you play to this season I think you can see the change too. Yeah definitely like obviously from last season I thought it was a tough season season so obviously learning from mistakes and knowing what we can do this year better for obviously this year we, we've done quite well and obviously we come here Got, yeah. a, got a good win. Well, look, I, I was following Portsmouth in pre-season. Of course, our relationship with Portsmouth was really good. And I saw you when you were scoring away in the, on their games in Spain. How important is that for you to get this kind of experience behind you? Because you're only young and the future's looking bright for you. Yeah, massive, I'd say. Obviously, coming on loan is one of the biggest experiences I can obviously get in men's football. Obviously, the gaffer at Pompey wants me to get out and get 35 games in my legs. So, yeah, definitely getting out, it'd be really good for me. Well, Alfie, well done, mate. I'm going to go Thank on to you. Toby now. Cheers. Toby, again, clean sheet on your competitive debut for Bogner. How pleasing is that for you? No, really pleasing. I think you know, it was a really good game. The boys dug in really well um, to get that clean sheet, which is like, really pleasing for me. Well, I thought in the first half, you... one thing I heard <laughs> from the press box is you called in for the ball, which is so important at this level. Of course, it's competitive. I don't think you'll get many more teams like Hornchurch mm -hmm. coming to the lane, but overall, I thought it was a fantastic... And how, how good is it for you to be playing week in, week out and getting the experience? Yeah, no, definitely. You know, at such a young age, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I, know I you know, this team is absolutely great for me. They love to play out, I love the way they play football. And obviously, I like to get on the ball. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a really good fit for me. And I think, yeah, like you say, it'd be really great for my development. So Well, I noticed amazing. that in a game you played against us for Portsmouth. Yeah. And I said, oh, he was fantastic in that game. And obviously, Danny Cowley and Robbie Blake had a word. And... You've seen for yourself how players can progress from Bogner and get further on. How was it, how was it important for you, for your career, mm. you're only 17 years old. Mm. Playing week in, week out, keeping a clean sheet like that, fantastic. Yeah, no, 100%. It's absolutely brilliant. Like, I obviously heard Dan and um, Alfie come here last season, they had nothing but good things to say. So I was actually found, like, so like, happy when, when, the, um, when the deal came about. So, you know, it was absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, it's, like I say, it's a really good fit for me. Um, getting these get, uh, minutes uh, at this age is really good and it gets me that experience for men's football. So, yeah, definitely brilliant. Well, Toby, top man, mate, and I'll Thank see you on Wednesday. Good Cheers, performance. Mate, yeah. Well done.